Hey guys, with a brand new DVD and Blu-ray update here. I talk about all the new DVDs and Blu-rays I've gotten over the last month. Now it's really early in the morning, so don't don't be like, oh, he looks tired, because I am tired. It is like four in the morning, four or five in the morning. So let's get into this. Now you can probably tell by here, I have a lot of Blu-rays. I have so many Blu-rays in one. So I'll start off with the DVDs. First, I'll start off with the TV shows I've gotten. First one is Lost Season 6. I must say, it's not the best season. Everyone hated this season. And I honestly didn't mind this season. It was, a, it was a good season. Didn't really like the way it ended, but it was still an okay ending. I'm going to try and get through these as quick as I can because I've got so much things. I might do two parts of this. I don't know. I got Criminal Mind Season 2 and Criminal Mind Season 3. Let's see them. Um, where are the other ones? Here we go. Oh, my memory. Okay. I've got another one of the five pack movies. There's a five pack adventure. It's got Britannic, Dragon Quest, Countdown Armageddon, Death Races, and Force of Impact. I've only seen Britannic, which is the main reason I got this pack, but it, Britannic was an okay film. It wasn't anything spectacular. I've got the Rainbow Trilogy. I'm going to get the big Blu ray box with the. Um, Grenade and stuff, but I'll have to wait for that. I've got the DV Steelbook of War of the Worlds. I had this on normal DVD, but I've sold it, and now I've got the DV Steelbook, but I'll pick this up on Blu ray sometime. I got a movie called A Razorhead. I haven't seen it yet, but it looks really interesting. I've got a movie called The Downbusters. I haven't seen it, but the artwork looked really cool, and I had a good uh, blur. Now, this one. It's a documentary on the Twin Towers with Seven Days in September, and it's one of the best documentaries I've seen ever. A movie called See This Movie, and this is really funny. If you haven't seen this, do check it out. It's just about these two guys, um, and they're trying to make a movie, and they've got no money, and they're trying to enter into a film contest, but they have to hand it in like the next day, and they're trying to film it while they're at the film carnival. Next one is Meg Shark vs. Giant Octopus. And I'll say this film was kind of funny. It's supposed to be taken seriously, but I, you know, I found it funny. Next one I got is um, a National Geographic, and it's The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Um, it's beyond the movie, so you get behind the scenes. I've got the one for The Fellowship of the Ring, but I haven't seen this one yet. And I got The Muppets, which I still haven't seen yet. And I know people are going, well, how have you not seen The Muppets? I didn't see it in the theatres, and I haven't seen it since I found on DVD, so... Now I've got three VHS, and people are like, why are you getting VHS as well? But you know, I, I like getting a VHS for a while, and I did... This first VHS I had, but I lost. Uh, that's Titanic. So, um... I did have it, and I lost it, so I had to rebuy 50 cents. These were all like 50 cents VHSs. Next one is Jurassic Park, which is awesome. And then Jurassic Park 3. They're the three VHSs I got. Okay, now I'll show you some movie soundtracks, like CDs that I got, because I picked up a few in the last week or so. I got the Hunger Games soundtrack, Titanic soundtrack, Spider Man soundtrack, it's the holographic one, but it doesn't really move down much, Rock of Ages soundtrack. Scream 2 soundtrack, and I got these two Harry Potter book reader things like the audiobooks, but you already know that because I did a video a little while back. Okay, we'll start on the Blu rays now. First Blu ray I got is 21 Jump Street, and yes, this is the hilarious film. People have been saying it's hilarious film. I mean, it's, it's really, really funny, but some of the humor in here you just sit there and not laugh at. You can just sit there and go, oh yeah, that was supposed to be taking funny, but I didn't laugh. Some of them look like that, but not all of it. Um, one of the best bits is when um, Channing Tatum hit the black kid and he's like, now turn that gay music off. And the kid's like, you hit me because I was gay? And Channing Tatum's like, I, I, I didn't know he was gay. Um, and I got Man on a Ledge. Funny as hell. I got this for 16 bucks, which is a great price. Got Project Dex, which is an awesome, awesome film. Now, um, the thing was, I paid thirty-seven dollars for this, and like two days after, went down to like thirty. That was fucked. 
I got This Means War. I saw this in the theaters on Valentine's Day with my girlfriend and we both loved the film. We thought it was hilarious, but I haven't seen it since I've had it on Blu-ray. So I can't tell you if it's a good bit for you or not. Now, um, The Sitter. I've seen bits and pieces of this, but I haven't seen the full movie yet. Um, it looks like a funny movie, so... Ooh, excuse me. I got the full first season of Boardwalk Empire. This was $15. Um, I went to JB Hi-Fi, which is the store that I go to, and they wanted $64. And then I found this for $15, so I was like, that's like a massive saving. I got Terminator Salvation, um, director's car, and I haven't seen this since, since I've been on Blu-ray. But um, I remember owning this on DVD, and I, I'll honestly say, I did like this movie. This movie was okay. Oh, sorry. I've got The Hills Have Eyes, Uncut, this is the 2006 remake. I'm still trying to find the original on Blu-ray, but they haven't released it, so... I'm not saying The Hills Have Eyes remake here, yeah, it's really, really good, I loved it. I've got The Lethal Weapon Collection on Blu-ray, it was 20 bucks. Uh, I picked this up on the day it came out. It was like 20 bucks, so that was good. Um, I got Open Season 3, I haven't seen this yet, but honestly, it was temp no, it was $8. It was $8. It was $8 Blu-ray. Land of the Dead. Um, a lot of people have been saying this is a shit movie, a lot of people are saying it's a great movie, so I don't know. I'm going to watch it and I'll see whether I like it or not, because it was 8 bucks. This next one was also $8, and it's Land of the Lost. And um, I love all Danny McBride movies, and I picked up two Danny McBride movies this month. And I haven't shown the other one yet, but Land of the Lost. I honestly remember being, this being funny. Um, what else? I got Almost Famous, which was $10, which is awesome. I love this film. I've seen it hundreds of times, so I couldn't go wrong for $10. And I got Legion. Um, which is an awesome, awesome film. I saw this on DVD when I first came out. I watched it like three times. It's just an awesome, awesome film. I honestly love this film. I love Kevin Durand films. So I was in, uh, Kevin Durand's one of my favorite actors. So he did really well on this. Um, United 93, which is a good movie. Oh, so kind. Um, um, United 93, obviously based on United 93, which is the plane that went down during the Twin Towers attacks. And it's honestly awesome film, but the build, the transfer, for the picture quality wasn't that great, but the sound quality was awesome. Step Up Free, I haven't seen this yet, but I, I loved the second one. The second one was great. So I can't wait to watch that one. Next one is the Star Trek, or Star Trek movie, um, and it's the three disc one. I searched high and low for this. And um, I could only find the one this condition on like JB Hi-Fi. And um, they wanted six, uh, no, it was like $40 they wanted for it. And I picked this up for 15 so that was awesome. And um, when it comes out, I'm going to get the one with the metal slip case. It's like $27 at JB. I'm going to get the one with the metal slip case. Next one is Eagle Eye. Honestly, one of the, I reckon this is a non-stop action movie. Um, this one's a special edition. This one was originally 35 but I picked up for 16 So that was awesome. I've got loads more here, people, so don't think, oh, he's almost done. I've got loads. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've still got 12, 13 things to show. Um, Shetty, um, honestly, I love Michelle Rodriguez as an actress. She's an awesome, awesome actress. So, oh, and I love that film. Just an awesome, awesome film. King Kong, I picked this up for $10.40. Uh, that was an awesome deal because everyone else was signing up for $14. So I was like, oh, wow, it's $10.38, 39 So I was like, I have to pick it up. So, um, now these, actually I won't show these ones yet, I'll leave them to the end. Planet Terror. Awesome, awesome, awesome film. Wait, why am I saying awesome, awesome, awesome film? I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. I don't know why. I'm a big fan of, uh, Oh, what's his name now? Robert Rodriguez. But I don't know why I was saying all sorts of film because I was trying to think. I was thinking of something that I was supposed to say for the next few movies, and I was like, "What's the most awesome film?" Like, one thing awesome. <laughs> um, and I got the Strangers. Now, this is an awesome film. This has no soundtrack to it. 
So don't go look online and go, oh, I would like the soundtrack to that, because there's no soundtrack to this film. Um, this film is just awesome, though. It's based on, tr it's based on a true event. Oh, it said the... He said the events in the movie weren't true, but it was based on a real event. You know, like, I think something that happened real. Now, these next two, um, I bought solely because someone had these in their video. Um, I was watching a video of what movies ones. Uh, he was doing three separate videos of all these horror shows. And I was watching part three, and that, he had a whole lot in there that I really wanted to get. So I was writing them down so I could remember them, and then I was going to go online and buy them. And these two, I ended up getting in the mail when I bought them. They were ten dollars each, but, and then the Blu-rays. I remember he had the DVDs of them, and he said he wanted to get the Blu-rays, but they were really expensive. But I ended up getting them for ten dollars. I suppose it's just which country you're in, you know. But um, the first one is the Frighteners, and I picked this up for ten dollars. And I really would like to thank Wendy well, Wall for showing this in his video, and um, because I never would have found out about this film most likely. I probably would have, would have, like in years to come, but. I had no idea this film existed. Um, I haven't seen it yet, but it's a Peter Jackson film, and all Peter Jackson films are awesome. So I really love all Peter Jackson films. So I'm really thanked that he had this one in his video. And the other one that he had in his video, he had like a limited edition. It was like a bit bigger spine. It was like a box that you could say. And I thought I got the Blu-ray one, and it's The Evil Dead, and he had this in his video as well. And um, I remember looking online seeing if I could get it, it was only 10 bucks as well, so that was awesome. This film is a great, great movie, horror movie. I honestly love the bit where um, they had the first girl who was possessed in um, the you know dungeon sort of thing. She, uh, she, it was Sally that they had locked up, and she kept moving the door, and she was ah, ah. But that, I reckon that film was awesome. <laughs> she was annoying as shit out of everyone, and... But I must say, this is a good film, I love this one. Um, so I'd, I'd like to thank him just for showing these two in his video. He had like um, the DVD versions of them, so yeah. Alright, now let's get on with the rest of the movies that I, the rays that I got. I got The Evil Dead 2, which was 8 bucks. Um, that had a sale on. I haven't seen part 2 yet, like them too, so I'm going to have to check that one out. A lot that I have here, I haven't actually seen because I only got them in the last two, three days, so I haven't had no time to watch them whatsoever. But um, let's see what else I got. I got Your Highness with a slipcover. Now, online, the online store for J.B. Harper, I wanted twelve dollars, and the inside store, like you went in, you paid forty, and I was like, I'm not paying forty dollars for this. I may as well just order it online. But JB Hoffa had a sale one night, it was a 20% sale, and I went in there and I showed her the online price, and I was like, hey look, it's $9.59, because I was on a uh, sale price, so I was like, okay, we'll do it for that price then, because that's our online price, so that was awesome, I got it for $9.59. Next one I got is, oh, I just did myself, and um, The Dark Knight and Batman Begins, and I picked this up for $19.75, and, um, I got this a few days before Dark Knight Rises came out, and I did see the Dark Knight Rises. It was awesome, and I did do a review, so you go check out our channel and see if you can find the review and watch it. Um, and I got the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. That's the one that comes out. Now, everyone's been saying they're, they're getting different editions. So, um, my edition is the one with the tree, the one with... Um, I can't remember her name now, because I haven't seen it in so long. With the main character... Um, I can't remember her name now. Honestly, can't remember her name. I picked this up for $16, which is an awesome price. So, oh, not going in for some reason. There we go. Um, and I got Water for Elephants. This, this is the one with the slip cover. Um, and it's more like embossed like all the curtains you can see. Um, it was originally $40, went down on hot price to $16.98. No, it was $15.98. So I got it for $16. Bucks. Still haven't seen it, but um, I'm, it was like $16. Bucks. You're not going to turn out $16 old Blu-ray with a slip cover. But I love slip covers and I love box sets. But um, for $16, bucks, this is like a good price for what it was. And I love Reese Weatherspoon. I don't know. Rob Hudson, he's not that good but he's an okay he's a satisfactory actor but still now my last item 
I, I tried to do this as quick as I could. Quick as I could. It's 15 minutes. That's good. I bought oh, the Alien. Alien vs. Predator. Predator. Box set. Blu-ray box set. So it's got nine films including Alien. Alien vs. Predator. And Predator movies. Two bonus discs. 35 hours of special features. Collectors cards including an original artwork by H.R. Giga. 42 pages of rare facts and trivia. And here's the back. That's what you get So I'll just take it out. Jar stupid because I started to pick up the corner here. So I thought the lid like lifted up and the corner's like just torn. Yeah. But it, it just slips outside. So if you buy it, don't make the mistake of trying to peel it. Because. Um, so here it is. Let's see if I can open it the right way this time. Um, which way does it open? They're both double sided. Uh, this is the right way. This is. Okay. So. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, here is the first page. And the disc just goes in here. I'm not going to take it. Aliens. This goes up in here for aliens. Oh, I'm going to hold it up. Alien 3. This goes up in here for Alien 3. Alien Resurrection. Alien Resurrection just goes up in here. Oh, I don't want to drop it. And it's sort of like leaning. It's so heavy. Um, this is just more info. Some pictures. Predator. Predator just goes up in here. All the discs are up here, so I don't have to keep saying it. Predator 2. More on Predator 2. Predators. Predators. More Predators, sorry. AVP, which is Alien vs. Predator. More on AVP. AVP2. More of AVP2. And then all the cards are in here. Show you guys quickly. Um, let me just close this. Okay, let's have a look. Get this one. It tells you down the bottom which film it's from. This one goes the Alien 3. Alien 4 Resurrection, but I haven't seen this one yet, which is, I don't know why, I've seen every other, I've seen every Alien film, every Predator film, every Alien vs Predator film, except Alien 4. There's a picture of Arnie, he's done. Danny Glover. He got one of the Predator. He got a shot of the Alien and Predator. You go to the alien, no, the predator and one of the guys. And then you got this arm back. So that's all the photos. I'm gonna be put it back for the artwork quick or I'll forget. But um, see, look, we're, we're already going on 19 minutes. I was gonna do two parts to this and slow it down and talk about everything, but then I was like, no way. Who don't wanna watch two parts to my DVD and Blu-ray update? No way. No, no, get in there. It's usually not this hard to get in there, but obviously it won't be difficult for me because I'm doing an update. Okay, and then it just slides back in the edge. Oh, come on. Look, that took me like a minute to get in. But anyway, um, just to run through of everything again, I won't say anything. Batman Begins, Dark Knight. Your Highness. Evil Dead 2. Evil Dead. Frighteners. Strangers. Planet Terror. King Kong. Machete. Eagle Eye. 
Star Trek 3 Disposition. Step up 3. United 93. Legion. Almost Famous. Lands of the Lost. Uh, Lands of the Dead. Open Season 3. Uh, Lethal Weapon Collection. Hill Survivors. Terminal Salvation. Boardwalk Empire. The Sitter. This means war. Project X. Man on the Ledge. 21 Jump Street. Water for Elephants. Go with the Dragon Tattoo. The Alien and Predator thing that I just showed you. Smooth these. The Muppets. Return of the King. Like, I haven't seen stuff. Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus. See this movie. Seven Days in September. The Damn Busters. The Razorhead. War of the Worlds 2 Disc. Still up. Rainbow Trilogy. Fire Pack Movies. Prune One Season 3. Season 2. Lost Season 6. Rock of Ages soundtrack. Spider Man soundtrack. Titanic soundtrack. Hung Game soundtrack. Harry Potter audio books. Scream 2 soundtrack. Jurassic Park 3, Jurassic Park 1, Titanic VHS. So, that's my update for this month, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.